Hey guys, welcome back to the Omni Slabs server. And uh, right now, Wreckabilly is on. And I was just over collecting some seeds from some mainland that uh, I found over there. And he can't Skype right now. Oh dear. Oh dear. Quick lag spike. Um, because he's at work. <laughs> Playing Minecraft at work. Oh yeah. But um, he found an ideal spot for his for his base and it is in a cave he's gonna eat the wit I think anyways and I am going he died so I'm gonna go and try to help him show me the way by the way uh, I don't want to spoil anything I'm, I'm not gonna uh, give you tours of anything because Richard and I share a whole lot of subscribers, and I'm sure that he would like to um, show off his own base to his own subscribers. My base is coming along. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, just thought I'd record this little bit because it should be pretty dang exciting. Where are you? Where is this guy? Hmm. Alright, he's coming. Hold on one second. Alright, so he's at the bottom cave by the ladder up. I don't think I showed you guys this on video. I don't think I showed any of this on video because we've made quite a bit of progress I'll say um, that's not done don't judge it yet it is not done okay we all right go 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 all right looks like it's around this way sorry that there is no Skype <gasps> I just heard an Enderman I think whatever hey. not for now not for mm -hmm. oh it's so tempting Oh, and the phones are buzzing. Phones are buzzing. Crap, I lost Rekka. <laughs> Too distracted by an Enderman. What's that? <gasps> A slime. All right. Where's this guy? And just so you know, he isn't copying Etho in any way. He's living in a cave, he told me, but he's going a completely different direction as far as style goes um, than Etho. Alright, lots of dead ends, so I should find Rekka fairly easily if his stuff isn't already despawned alright he went this way um... was I already this way? don't quite know okay no idea where Rekka is gold Lots of stuff, lots of torches as well, so this is all explored, and the ores are not mined. We have a negative on the ores being mined. We have a negative on the ores being mined. Shucks. Cords. Give me them cords. And I didn't bring a pickaxe or any blocks. Ugh. No, Rocket Billy walked into fire while fighting a skeleton. No, I'll meet you guys at the surface. Ah, oh, stuff is gone. Man, that sucks. All right, here we are, back at the surface. Gonna talk to Rekka real quick. Where he at? Where is he? Oh, walked into fire while fighting a skeleton again. 
Where is he? There he is. Okay, where can I help him out? Especially the slime ball. Okay, guys. Um, I think that the main point of this server is to record, so he really doesn't have much of a right to get mad, but <laughs> just making sure. A stable food source is still not something that we exactly have yet on the server. So um, I have been AFKing down here. Ah, oh, oh, he lost XP and his string. Well, there you go, buddy old pal. All right. Cool. So, here is here are some seeds that I got on my adventure over the over nya, nya. My adventure over nya. Am I recording? I am recording. I know because of my lack of frames. All right. And I'm just going to do some of these. Some of these. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, whoa. Whoa, dude. All right. I'm trying to dig up some dirt because we need some blocks to place our torches on. Woo. Perfect. That was the best woo I have ever done ever. Complete with voice crack. Please don't. There we go. I didn't want it to the soil to until itself. And one more. Okay. Just thought I'd record this. Um, I'm not going to upload this as a full episode. Damn it. I misplaced both of those. I will not be recording this as a full episode. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure you know that because the video is going to be decently long, like the others have been. But, um... Yeah. Gonna... I'm going to stop recording for a long time now because I've got a lot of work I need to get done around, around here. I do everything around here. Yeah, I got a lot of work I got to get done, though, and I'm going to continue recording in a few hours after all that work's done. So I'm just going to AFK in the meantime. Talk to you then. Alright, guys, and we're back on the OmniSlab server again. Uh, still probably episode 4. Oh, I just bought myself. With that, a pick, can you save me? Sure, pal. Boards? Alright. I guess we're going on a rescue mission, but first, we're going to leave him down there for just a bit, because I 
want to bring him a present. By the way, this is the farm I made. Um, oh, okie do. This is the farm I made. Um, it's sort of out of the way, and I like it. And then I have cocoa bean farm because guess take a wild guess who on the server just freaking loves cocoa beans. Yeah, it's Richard. Um, <laughs> Richard absolutely is crazy for them. All right, so, uh, man, he's really close, so it'd be suspicious if we went all the way over there to, uh, to get stuff, so I'm gonna go rescue him right now. Okay, what was it again? Negative 67 and negative 78, so negative 67 going down on this side, or up, I guess. Negative 67. There he is. There's our buddy, Rekka. Okay. And this is around where he's going to be living, I believe. Aw, oh, he's free. What a waste of our resources and our pickaxe. Ooh. Make a grinder. Make a grinder, question mark? Please do. I heard if you destroy it, you get free diamonds. I'm gonna pretend that I'm breaking it. <laughs> just, I'm just clicking it over and over again. Don't worry, not holding down my pick. No big deal. I'm not gonna destroy anything. Okay, so. Lol. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna head out here. I think it's this way. I get super easily lost down here. Oh, dark. Darkness, darkness, not equipped for the darkness. Um, hmm. Way out? I, I hope that there's a way out. I hope that it didn't close behind me. Because that would suck my scrotum. Alright, so first day of school was today. Yeah, I'm a junior. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. So junior year is what everyone says to be the hardest year. Alright, let's go this way. Um, everyone says junior year is the hardest, uh, and I see why. <laughs> um, junior year of high school, by the way, for those of you who are wondering, I'm still in high school. Oh, dear. Do I have a sword? Don't have a sword? Don't have a sword? But I have two axes. Yay, go Cole. You have two axes and no sword. Alright. <laughs> and you went in a cave where there's just going to be a lot of wood that you're going to need your axe for. I wonder if we could do this. <laughs> nope. Later, bro. Okay. Um, oh, man, almost just fell. This is the most boring ladder ride to watch. So, but I guess I could talk. Um, mm, girlfriend's texting me. How was your first day? She's so cute. Um, my first day, but I will answer it for you guys as well. My first day was busy. Busy as heck. And I only had classes for a couple of the periods. I had yeah boy um I had a lot of free periods today and it was still really rough um I'm in AP US history which uh, is gonna be a, a struggle this year and yeah I'm also taking AP language comprehension um that shouldn't be too bad uh, but, uh, I didn't have that today. That dropped today. So I had a free in place of where that would normally be. Free period. By the way, in our high school, during free periods, we were actually allowed to leave school. So I had the last three periods free. And I didn't really want to go to practice. But I had allergic, I had an allergic reaction anyways. So, it's not like I could have gone. But, um, I'll talk more about that in a sec. 
uh, I decided um, just to walk home and then come back for practice because I didn't want to stay at school. Even though I did have a lot of homework, I would have preferred doing it at home. So I spent the 20 minute walk walking home. And there's like, right near school, there's um, like, oh god, man, that blows. That sucks, man. That really sucks. Why did I do this at night? Uh, well, the sun's coming up anyways, so. I hope you guys like my new skin. Um, I worked hard on it. But anyways, um, yeah, we can leave school and go do whatever you want during the periods we have free. So we're allowed to do that um, in our school. It's not like I'm breaking the rules by doing that. We can, there's like a local Starbucks, a Panera subway. That's about a four or five minute walk away from the school. And it's pretty great because periods are 45 minutes long. So the walk there and the walk back are only at 10 minutes. You can spend the rest of your period eating your lunch. Um, which, of course, is going to be more expensive. And a little bit more time consuming. But I like to spend my free periods. I grab my lunch in the cafeteria where it's just right there. Super cheap and I can just chow down really quickly. Wolves. Um, I can chat on really quickly, and then I like to go uh, to the library and catch up on my homework. I'm away. Alright, we came for sheep. Where are they at? I know that there are sheep here. I'm positive, sort of. I'm... I'm not positive at all. Um... But if they're not over here, then we're going to need to go a ways to get sheep. If they're not over here, I'm going to get very upset. I'm going to cry. <clears throat> so yeah, I walked home today because I had no classes left. And then I got my allergy shots. Every I used to have horrible allergies, especially around this time, springtime. Or fall time, I meant to say. It's not springtime at all. It's just starting to be fall. But, um, and so I started going every single Monday getting two shots in each arm. Or, two shots, one in each arm. I meant to say. Hmm, doesn't look like there's sheep over here, by the way. Um, so one shot in each arm. And that was not bad at all. I am not super, like, I'm not going to say I'm immune to shots, but I'm not as bad with them as a lot of people I know are. Uh, so it wasn't so bad, and it was totally worth it, because it builds up my immune system. They're injecting a small amount of what I'm allergic to into my body, which is pretty much everything I tested positive on. I think every single thing, including dogs, which is weird, because I have two dogs. But anyways, so yeah, I tested positive, so they start injecting me with this stuff. And just recently, just a few months ago, I became more immune and they allowed me to go to every other week. And then um, in about a year or so, it'll go to every three weeks. Then every four weeks, and then I'll be done. And I will not need shots every Monday any longer. And I will be immune to allergies. Or at least some of them. <laughs> I don't know how it'll work if I develop anymore. But yeah. So, um, I walk home. And I figure, okay... I'll, my mom will drive me to allergy shots at my doctor's office from home. I'll at least get an hour to stay around at home, do homework, do stuff like that, maybe eat. And I did that. Then I go to get my allergy shots. I've got my running clothes on because I'm going to go straight from the doctor's office to practice. And then all of a sudden, I had a very bad allergic reaction to these allergy shots. And I'm talking horrible. My arm swelled up like crazy. It was terrible. So I had to mispractice. And all my friends were making fun of me, and it was sad. Ah, man, the life I live. The life I live. And, okay, I'm going to cut until we hit land, so I'll be right back with you folks. Okay, land ho. That's right, land. I just called you a ho. And up, chicken. Let's, uh, oh, phone's ringing again. It is a very good friend of mine. Um, okay. Oh, oh god. 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 O
Man, that is weak. All right, so uh, first things first, I'm gonna need some eggs, and I feel like I can, I can. Nope, nope. I thought I could hear my own voice for a second there, but I uh, think I'm just. I think I might just be hearing things for a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'm going insane. I don't know. I thought I was getting some feedback from the mic, but maybe not. I hope not. I'll have to check that in editing. But anyways, um, we are here to get sheep because um, Rekka is moving out. He's sick and tired of us. Doesn't like living by our rules and our standards, so he's moving out. Actually, he's moving down. He's moving into the cave. Like I said earlier, he's going to etho it. He's going to live in a cave, except he's going to keep the cave like disgusting, I guess. And he'll be like Gollum. He'll live in a gross nasty old cave that won't be furnished or anything and he needs a bed to live down there he needs a nice fluffy bed to get in from his disgusting things that he does uh, like eating fish live eating raw fish as they're living and if he can capture a goblin or even an orc he'll eat that because that's what he does and he's got a, a little island right in the middle of Right in the middle of a small pondish lake where he's got a little rock formation. And it's tiny and it, it's nobody ever sees it because they can't see in the dark. But, but Rekka can see in the dark really well so he knows exactly where it is. And that is where he keeps his precious ring. Yeah, I just read Lord of the Rings like a month ago. <laughs> I reread it. I've read it before, of course. I'm a big fan. But just now I finished up uh, Eat Shoots and Leaves. It's a good book. Um, I thought it was pretty funny, but I had to read it for school. So obviously because it was for school, I was kind of rushing to get it done and not doing it more for the enjoyment of the book. Um, there's only been a handful of books where I could actually do that with that I read for school. Because um, uh, usually I'm not too into the books we read for school. But... Um, examples of books that we read for school that I actually really enjoyed and was excited to getting assigned homework to read because our teachers specifically told us not to read ahead. Those were, um, big one that comes to mind is obviously To Kill a Mockingbird. If you've ever read that, I had to read that for school. I <laughs> had to. You can't see my air quotes, but oh my god, that book is so incredible. Atticus Finch is the man and Boo Radley is the other man, and they are just, oh my god, that, that book. I've read it so many times at this point. But then we move on to another book that I like not quite equally as much, a little bit less. Um, Lord of the Flies. Uh, I read that in school, and I enjoyed that a lot as well. I thought it was really interesting because when we read it, I was sort of, I was older than the boys in that book at the time. But I sort of absolutely understood exactly what was happening because I saw it happening myself. When teachers weren't looking, kids were like, like, um, back in, like, I, we read this book, I think, freshman year of high school. But I remember back when we were that age, like, you know, fifth or sixth grade, when teachers weren't looking, kids would threaten to do things to each other. And even before then, like, and I'm talking a long time ago, like, preschool or kindergarten, kids didn't really understand the concept of things, so they would threaten to, like, even kill each other. Like, I, I'm not kidding. That actually, I remember that happening. Um, it never did, thank God. That would have been horrific. Uh, but, I, I mean, I didn't understand either at that point, um, because back then, I thought that everything was, was Star Wars, and that everybody was expendable and like everybody was like a stormtrooper and if they died it'd be no big deal you know whatever and um yeah <laughs> scary stuff if you've seen the good son um starring uh what's the kid's name from home alone i'm forgetting he's really creepy now but anyways if you've seen that movie it's about a kid who uh either he's just like mentally insane or doesn't quite understand the concept of death and the fact that if someone dies they're not coming back I think and he tries to kill his brother like legitimately just straight up tries to kill him uh, I think I liked that movie I can't remember if it was good or bad and it's got Elijah Wood I know that Elijah Wood as a kid 
Um, Alright, sun's going down. And we're just going to give this to Rekka because he needs a bed. Where are you? <sighs> hmm. In my cave. I know, but where? Cords? Man, I need a new pick. Need a new pick. Need a new pick. Need a new pick. <laughs> Ah! Okay. Let's see here. Um, negative 37. Damn well, better be sorry. I was coming for tea. But now I'm coming to kill you. <laughs> All right, what did he say? Negative 37, 20, 74. So negative 37. That's this way. I can hear his chest. That's for sure. <gasps> I hear him. I hear an Enderman. But I don't have a sword again. Man, Endermanies. <gasps> There's Richard. There's Richard. He's going to be so excited. Er, Richard, what am I thinking? It's Wreckabilly. I've just done so much stuff with Richard. What a guy. What a jerk. Richard. Making me... Making me lose track of everything. Okay. Wreckabilly. Where is this fool? Well, I see his nameplate. How do I get down there? There's all this unmined stuff. How does he even, like, handle it? What's in here? Ha <laughs> ha, oops. Oh, oh god, okay. I'm coming, Richard! Where is he? Where's this fool? He'd best be coming down this way. If he knows what's good for him. I bet you he is like Gollum and he just knows this place super well. Like the back of his hand, you know? Like he could close his eyes and just navigate. Navigate through it all. Okay, what the heck? Seriously, Rekka? Did I call him Richard again just a second ago? Oh, and he's... How did he get down there so quickly? Up oh, once again. <laughs> Alright. Ah, uh, how do I get down there? I'm not sure. One second, guys. Okay, I'm here at Richard's cave. And he doesn't see me. He sees me. Dang. Guess what? Oops, no sword, lol. Alright, here, I'm just gonna leave this here for him. And help him get his things. Did I just piss him off? Nope. Nope, did not piss off the Ender Mini. Here. Uh, some of those torches were probably mine, but they're Richard's now, you know? No! Oh, no! Oh, shit! Okay. We log really quickly. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. 
Kane, Kane, Kane. I didn't make another sword. I'm, I'm just brilliant. Like, just, like I mean, really smart. Come on, kill me, kill me, bud. Give me a little squirt. Come on, you can kill me anytime you want. That was on purpose. Check the video. Don't want to embarrass myself. Okay. So Richard's definitely having a big zombie problem down there. And I think that I think that uh, Cole can Cole can fix it, you know. If Cole can't fix it, nobody can. I mean, seriously. If he can find where it was. Just gotta text chicken ready if you want. Hell yes, I want chicken. Are you kidding, mother? Alright. Okay. 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 Alright. Darn. Darn. Oh, what the hell? He just killed me in two hits. Two hits. Two hits. Whoop. Oopsily daisilies. Okay. Um. Uh, which way was it? It was this way, yeah. Okay, cool. Q. I'm starting to know the way now. Man, this is a freaking giant cave system, though. <coughs> Die! Ha! Ha! Yes! I took care of him and brought you a present. Oh, he got two cats and 13. Okay, cool. I can't remember if this wood was mine. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, I don't need those. I need those. Um, let's see here. None of this was mine. We'll give him a stack, or half a stack of carrots, because we don't need all those carrots. Give him that sword. The shears were mine. I love this cave. I know. You tell me all the time. Jeez. Jeez, man. Jeez. Alright, I think that the rest of it was mine. Oh, wait, no, this bow. Did you have a bow? That's it then. <sighs> like your present? I didn't even get a thank you. Come on, man. Seriously, guy? Do you know how much trouble I went through to get this boat? Get this bed, I meant. That's not all. Our little friend shit himself when he died. Thankfully, Enderman shit, <laughs> he deserved it. Enderman shit is highly valuable to humans. Okay, time to go. Don't want anything to do with down here anymore. Ever again at that. Never want anything to do with down here ever again. 
and I'm sure that won't be the end of it.